everybody, this is Dan French. This is another Crib Tour, and today we're in the fabulous Las Vegas, and we're looking at property address 2860 Man Street here in Las Vegas. It was uh, originally bought six months ago for $650,000. they are trying to sell this thing now for $1.3 million. So let's go take a look at this property and see what it has and see if it really, with that, that amount of increase, does the value really show that? All right, guys. So we're here at 2860 Man Street. 1.2 million, 1.1 million 291,000 is the actual price list for this home. Uh, we just discussed what they bought it for. Five bedrooms, six bath, 3,900 square feet, um, $331 a square foot, and this was built in 1979. The lot size here is 22,216. Interesting, you have a set down there. This is more of just an area for, for maybe just to have family get together, um, you know, nice little step down area here. And then heading back over here, step back up here, this is the living area. Nice open floor plan, pretty decent sized ceilings. This looks like the, the cabinets and things were all redone. We'll take a look at this nice big island here. Really nice island, Isle's pretty nice. Um, some of the workmanship on here though is just not up to par in my opinion. Uh, you got some of the stuff down here. Let's see if this is soft. Doesn't feel like that's a soft. Maybe it is soft closing. Not sure. Um, seems like the drawers are, but the workmanship is decent, but it could be a little bit better. I feel that uh, some of the things that's going on with this house you know, they bought it and in such a short window, they try to, it seems like they're trying to turn around and flip it. And, you know, if you come over here, we're looking at this, some of the work we should here, they just kind of threw this in here. Over here, they just kind of threw this in. And this is obviously a wine holder here, but it's just, it doesn't match. You know, you look at the framing, framing doesn't really match. It's not really, it's not really professional. It's not something that I would look at and go, okay, they really put some, like they upgraded some parts of the home, but in some areas, like look at this. This just looks tacky to me. That just doesn't look like it's good workmanship there, you know? Um, it's got a decent storage unit here. Uh, it's nice. Let's take a look in here. You got this. So they got some, uh, you know, this is kind of rough. You know, they're not really, they, maybe they need to grease that up a little bit as far as this goes, but you know, it's decent. Didn't look like they put too much in here, but if you look at this workmanship right here, I mean, this this does not look like they put a lot of effort and time into this. It just looks very tacky for selling a home at 1.3 million. Um, to me, you would think that if you're gonna buy a house, I know they bought it for 650. You're gonna buy, this is a premium style home. This is a home that very desirable here in Las Vegas, and it just feels like they put very minimal amount of effort. And this is usually where people really get sold. Now, this is beautiful, but you know, the whole area here and all the things here, I don't know, to me, it just looks like they did an okay job, but it's just, it's just really tacky. You know, they left a lot of, a lot of spots and things that was left. Um, just doesn't look like they put a ton of effort or put a very meticulous air, uh, you know, position here. They didn't really take their time and really make this look good. Um, but you can tell like some of the cutoff here is not really, not really professional. It's not really, uh, at that level. So going back here, I mean, it's got nice handles for the cabinet or the cabinets here. Um, looks like it's a soft close on the cabinets up here. It's completely different though versus down here. It just seems like that's not, I don't know. So let's go over here. We'll take a look at uh, the living room. So this looks like it's a nice fireplace. I don't know about this tile. This tile to me seems a little outdated based upon what they did. So. I think they kept this tile, you know, but I would probably replace that. Also, it seems like they're missing a cage. This is a wood fireplace. It's obviously not gas. If it was gas, you'd have some type of plug or something here to turn that on. But usually if it's a wood fireplace or any fireplace, they should have something, you know, preventing you from getting in there, especially if you have kids. So let's go to the first bedroom here. And uh, again, you know, I don't know if they replaced this stuff, but it's just, it, look at the paint all this stuff on like I don't know who's gonna who would buy this with this type of job you know if you're gonna take the effort and you're going to come in here and upgrade a home that's a million dollar home now 
by standards of what they put it on. I mean, I would definitely do a better job of that. This also, this paint doesn't look like they, like it's really, it's looked like it, it needs another coat. It doesn't, it does, to me it doesn't, I don't feel like there's a lot of coverage here. Like there should be one other layer of coverage. So framing looks terrible, in my opinion. Um, I don't know why they left this, but this fine, but it doesn't, I mean, you know, look at this, it's dirty. You know, if you're gonna take the, go to the extent of trying to get into a house, maybe replace those or paint those or do something with those um, the shutters. So we're going to bedroom number two. Now these are big bedrooms. This looks like it's the master bedroom, which has another fireplace, which is pretty unique. Um, I think you're starting to see, we see that, saw this at the other house. Another gas fireplace. Ladies always like to have shoes. You know, my, my girl's got tons of shoes, so this is something necessary for somebody that's into shoes like most, most girls are. I think guys are too, but just from my experience. So you got the dual sinks, very nice sinks. Um, you know, I, I can't really say too much about, that, that That looks good. I mean, this part looks good, nice walk-in. Oh, this is pushed open. Huh. This is a nice walk-in closet, nice hidden walk-in closet. It's got one shower head, so. Previous homes I've seen they've had multiple shower heads. Not bad, you know, but again, you know, it's not some of these higher end homes, they're gonna have those multi shower heads to, to use and then they're gonna even have like the, the little lever that comes up where you can, you know, spray yourself or spray whatever you need to spray. So uh, other than that though, I think the master bedroom is nice. I would prefer to be a little bit bigger though. Personally, that's just me. I mean it's big. But I mean, it's not some of the size, like other master bedrooms, it seemed like they have a little bit more space to work with. This one's not that great. Still a nice, nice one though. It's not bad at all. So you got another sink here, right? And this is, at least it's all matched. But again, look at the workmanship. I mean, like I, that's paint. That's not something that, that's not something that you come in and it's just like, hey, that was there. They were painting this house and then they just have overspray. And if they're gonna come in and you know fix that, but I don't know if I would put it on the market at this point when I feel it's not ready. You can tell because look, all this is consistent and then this one doesn't really have any paint on it. So you can tell that this whole house has been painted white recently, but it's also a really bland white. It's really a white that just doesn't pop. You know, it's very dry, it's like a very um, I don't know, it just, it just, I feel that, you know, it needs another, another coat of paint. It just doesn't, it's not popping to me here. Um, then we also have another uh, shower, you know, pretty, pretty nice shower head here. Very spacious bathroom, so this, this is also nice. This is another, uh, for here looking outside. <clears throat> so let's go back over here. Nice area for just maybe. I don't know if you want to store some things, uh, maybe put a bookshelf here, um, you know, anything you want to put here to kind of store. This is a smaller bedroom. It's probably for a kid's bedroom, you know, somebody that's living with you or maybe just a, a guest bedroom. This is very small though. This is probably nine by 11, I would say. That's probably the size of this bedroom. So it's not really a huge bedroom, but you know, for me, <clears throat> for me, if I'm buying a home like this, I, I want some nice shutters to match it. You know, I don't want some shutters that look like this and it just seems like this is outdated. A lot of stuff what they did to this house is they outdated the house, or the house is outdated coming into it. So it's almost like they put lipstick, lipsticks on a pig a little bit where in some areas they, they took the time to maybe upgrade it, maybe the kitchen cabinets and maybe the countertop was, you know, put in, I'm not sure. But other things it just seemed like they just slapped a coat of paint on it and kept the original, uh, you know, part of the house, handles, things like that, or even like some of the trim. And they just painted over the trim and it's just a very poor job of painting in my opinion. So, we have two ways to pass the backyard. I want to take a look at this first and just see what this is. This is obviously a closet. This is, as you walk in the first part of the house, yeah, this is a closet. So, let's take a look at that. Having a sink, having this area of the laundry room is really nice to have. 
I, I think it's pretty decent, actually. It's nice. Uh, the layout of the home is great. I feel that the, the layout of this house is nice. I just, I would, I would, if I was upgrading the home, maybe they're looking to flip in this. It's another closet. Um, you know, you can't go out cheap. You know, you'll get a return on it. But this house may sit if they don't fix some of the things, you know. It's, a, it's in a decent location. This is a nice garage, but for this style of home or this big of a home, I know we got like an RV parking over here, we'll look at it. But it's a pretty small garage. Usually there's a three car garage. I mean, it's 1979, so maybe that style for three cars was not in at that point. Um, in this, you know, this style home. Okay, go for it. Okay, so this is the RV parking right here. And you have, this is a, this is a nice secondary um, casita, I guess you would want to call it, or storage unit. You can park your car in here. So this is maybe considered another part of a garage. So maybe you could park something in here. Maybe this could be, you know, a guy's shop. Maybe even turn it into a theater room. I mean, this is a pretty big unit here. So let's go around and take a look. Uh, but it is a casita. Casitas are nice because when you have family coming over, they don't have to stay in the same house as you. You know, I got parents. They lived in a casita. I've lived in a, in a casita. Pretty, pretty convenient, unique. Let's walk right in here real quick. Again, the tile, terrible, right? You're paying a premium for this, look at the tile on this. All this stuff and all this, these things that they're trying to sell, this is all old stuff. Look at this, look how old this is. I mean, they really need to do some work on this house though. You know, for me as an investor, if I was buying this house or somebody living in this house, I would want this stuff fixed like ASAP. Now again, this is where you can come in, you can you know, park your car, another storage unit. So this is kind of nice. You know, this is something you can come in and look at and uh, use. You can come in and use this part of it for whatever you want. I mean, I would, this would be like, I would actually use this as a garage to store things and, and do work. And I have a dirt bike, I have, you know, cars and stuff I can bring in here and, and work on it. The other place I would just use as just parking my car. But again, a lot of work that needs to be done on this. You know, you look at this area, right? All older style. Now this has got like a walk-in or a sit-down uh, shower, which is cool, but look up here. Needs work done, right? It's you like look, a sauna. Yeah, it's a sauna. Look, over here you got uh, a new a or shower. steam shower. Yeah, it's a steam shower. So this right here is a steam shower, and it's just, it just it does it to me. If I'm buying a 1.3 million dollar home, it doesn't even look like it's working. There's some electrical at the top that's not working. So again, the layout is great. Nice home. So it's a nice, spacious backyard. It's got some small. I don't really like this part of Vegas. It seems like they really have some small uh, fences. And these fences really take care of these. You know, my opinion, if it was me, I would want more, you got a high house here, like a two-story home. I would want more uh, privacy, bigger bigger uh, fence. Looks like they got a pool. And this pool here, it looks like it's been redone. You know, there's no cracks or foundational issues. Other than here though, this, this could turn into a problem because if this keeps cracking, then you may have to replace all of this. And it looks like there is some areas of this cracking. So uh, doesn't look like the pool has any issues as far as internal. But nice big pool. Like you were saying, you know, this style pool, it would cost you eighty to a hundred thousand dollars to probably build a pool here in Las Vegas at this size. Um, Jacuzzi looks like it's pretty pretty spacious jacuzzi, although it could be, you know, probably I guess cleaned out a little bit. Doesn't look like too many people have been going into it recently. But I mean, you look at this backyard. It's definitely a huge backyard. It's a nice area right here. If you take a look back here, it's a nice area for, um, you know, holding events. You can, you can have a couple of tables back here. You can really just, you know, have fan, like have a really nice get together party here or just any party really but this is a nice big yard nice big backyard um, for me you know so you look at some of this stuff here and the electricals hanging out like this right here you know I don't know what that's to I don't know if that's to 
going towards the lights here? Or what's that really happen? What's happening with this thing? But it's just to me, it's very poor it's, uh, workmanship. I've been saying it. You can't leave hanging wires out. Obviously, this home is not in a, in a position where it's ready. Could it? Ha it does it have a lot of potential? Sure. But if I was buying this house, I would probably buy this house and want to ask for a huge discount on this house based upon what I see if they're trying to sell it and where it's at today. Because this house is not ready. There's a lot of things that still need to be fixed. And um, for me, I think they're just, they're probably stretching it a bit to try to sell this for 1.3 million when they just bought it for 650. There's a reason they bought it for 650. There's a lot of work that needs to be done to this house. So guys, I'm gonna finish up here. So we just, uh, we got done here guys. If you guys have any questions, please comment in the comment section. Um, we're gonna put out these videos quite a bit. I'm gonna put some more information on this property and uh, please subscribe to my channel.